Oh, sh I wasn't ready for this. Hello. <laughs> Oscar Fingal, oh, F Flaherty, Wills Wild. <laughs> you know how everybody just says their full name out loud? Hi! Poet, playwright, and critic. Deceased. Welcome back to Jennifer Wilde, Unlikely Revolutionaries. Uh, spoilers, our papa just freaking died. I don't know why, but we're here to find that out. Papa was such a wonderful correspondent. Okay. He wrote to me in boarding school every week. No matter what horrors he encountered in the trenches. This is my French French accent. <laughs> Whether it's actually a French accent, you know, whatever. But <laughs> it's my best. My father's suitcase. This must contain useful information. Papa used birthdays of his loved ones for combinations. My birthday is May the 3rd. Okay. So that's January, February, March, April, May. Uh, so... Zero... Five zero oh, a three. No, I'm doing this right, right? I'm not crazy. That locked, it must hold some answers. I'll talk to you again later. It, it couldn't have been that simple. New objective added pop up and use blah blah blah. Okay. Check the desk. Oh boy. Lots of stuff to click on. Huh. A letter. Okay. Looks like a letter written by Papa. Oh. Oh, she has like comments on each section. That's cool. Uh, Dear Stipper, I'm enthusiastic to, to read. You are coming to Paris. It's been such a long time since I heard your voice. I look forward to showing you the finest offerings that my city holds. I think you will find Maxime's a, a treat. The offerings will certainly be more palatable than the rations in La Basse. What, what <laughs> was it you often jested? My stomach would be in better shape if you had left the shrapnel in. What? <laughs> Papa was planning to meet someone in Paris. Could this be the reason for his murder? Oh. It's a pity you weren't here to celebrate your birthday yesterday, but I hope the day brought some new memories. <laughs> if you allow, I will treat you to a lavish dinner to as a belated birthday treat. Talk soon, Jean. Who's Jean? Wait, who's Tipper? Am I Tipper? April 6th. Oh wait, so April 6th, oh wait, you weren't, oh, uh, wait, <laughs> Papa mentions the correspondent's birthdays, the style in which the letter is written, they must have been close friends. Aha, okay, so, it's a pity you weren't able to celebrate your birthday yesterday, so April 6th, well no, April 5th, April 5th is the birthday. Okay, this locket belonged to Papa. It has photos inside. Oh my gosh, who could it be? Oh. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oscar Fingal, oh, F Flaherty, Wills Wild. <laughs> you know how everybody just says their full name out loud? Hi! Poet, playwright, and critic. Deceased. She was the wrong ghost. Go away! 
<laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> uh, my dear, you call and I appear. I didn't ask for you. Whose likeness do you hold? Oh, what was Papa doing with a picture of you? I mean, our last name's wild. His last name's wild. You're Oscar Wilde, the Irish writer who was jailed for sleeping with men. The, 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 straight up, that was just, like, the reason? Huh. I know, like, uh, he was born in Ireland, and then, um, when he went to school, he just, like, ditched his Irish accent, apparently, and, like, did, like, a English accent. According to what, like, I looked up, but you can look it up yourself. So then, he died in Paris, obviously, which is uh, where he is now. <laughs> they called it gross indecency, which is a grossly indecent description. <laughs> you knew my father. We met during my exile in Paris, when he was a medical student. I admired his talent. As an artist... He appreciated my advice and company. I didn't know Papa Drew. Aww. We have something in common. It was his life's ambition to become an artist. Now all his ambitions are ended. I miss him so. Why are you here? To assist you... Uh, for as long as you require it. Mm, taking notes. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, April 5th. Oh, no. Click out. April 5th. January, February, March. April. Uh, 4. And then the 5. Locked? Am I doing this right? April 5th. Sat. It's locked. When's your birthday, Oscar? <laughs> you must have encountered my father in the afterlife. Can't you ask him what happened? I have seen your father, and he is... Uh, Reconcil he's reconciled in with his fate, but there are some truths that the dead cannot impart. Did you know Tipper? Uh, it's time to leave this place. I'm going to have to look around. Did you know Tipper? <gasps> Did you know Tipper? I guess not. <laughs> I forgot how to what a select select oh Jennifer I died <laughs> I died two decades ago a man has many friends in a lifetime what the fuck <laughs> I'm not acquainted with anyone with such a ridiculous name as Tipper do you know how to open the suitcase How the fuck did I do that? <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh, the accident. Uh. My dear papa is gone. Papa was seen on the streets. He toppled into a man and they fell in the road. Apparently. The war. Okay. Close. Close. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Why is this here? Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> Oh, your father always had a paper upon him, in case inspiration struck. 
Yeah, I know. What? What? Why is it only when I like go into the the menu that I I'm pressing enter? I swear. What the fuck? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> Oh my god. I forgot that you have to fucking hold it. You have to hold the enter button. It's been a couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks. Okay. Okay. Paper, right? Written by Papa. A, it's a pity you weren't here to celebrate your birthday yesterday. 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 April 5th, right? January, February, March, April. That's four. And then five. What? Am I just that dumb? Where? A paper? Concentrate on the suitcase. I'm trying to look for clues, bro. Paper. There's lots of paper here. Obviously the birthday is important. April 6th. Wait. 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 Is it the opposite? Is it- is it the opposite? No. What? Hold on. This is why I have a fucking walkthrough pulled up right now. Oh my god. I'm confused. Did I miss something, like, in the first part of the game? Because in the walkthrough, it it says this, plus Mama's is June 7th. When did they get that? So they don't want us to open the suitcase yet? What do you want from me? Okay, I thought, you know, we have to open the suitcase, then leave the room. Okay. It's time to leave. I'm going a little crazy. I should go further uh, afield to investigate Papa's murder. Can you accompany me? <sighs> you summoned me with your father's locket, so we are connected. I must attend you as long as you possess it. I'm just keeping you captive. Jenny, I will remain with you as long as you need me. By choice, not compulsion. Compulsion. Not freaking... To where shall we adventure? The witnesses may have seen something important. Are you kidding me? And the police filed my offer the clue combination. Fine. <laughs> what? I thought, like, let's get out of here. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I'm tired already. This street possesses a strange quality. It's a peculiar sensation. You have stirred your abilities by calling me forth. Now you fully apprehend the presence of spirits. Your father's locket was my locus. Similarly, ghosts can be tethered to physical artifacts and possess meaning for the departed. A reverent looks here. What could possibly attach it to such a, a pedestrian place? My dear, his cadaver lays before you. 
Papa's still there? Wait, is that Papa? Oh, the other witness. Okay. But they took Papa's body. Why is that? Aha, the one witness that police couldn't consult. It's a victim. Sorry, the street is closed. <laughs> Have you identified the victim? We're waiting for family to confirm the identity of the body. But <laughs> I suspect this might be my brother. What's his name? I'm sorry, mademoiselle, but we have a list of known relatives. <laughs> I must ask your name before we give out information. Mary Martin. I'm so distraught. <laughs> Should we give her a name? Sure. Jennifer Chevalier. Oh, Bon, you're not related to the victim. <laughs> uh, so she is standing with the other witnesses. This is going great. Eleven minutes later. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, the Godame is blocking our paths, but I'm sure the victim's ghost may know it's useless information. The same rules no longer apply to me, if only that were true when I was living. Allow me, Jennifer. I can speak with him. Oh, right. Okay. Ooh, what a pleasure to experience life anew, even if in such an unfamiliar vessel. What a shame my sensibilities are affronted by a new generation of insults to fashion. Hold up. Nope, nope, go back, go back. Oh, that's fun. Oh, no. <laughs> if I, I walk too far, I, I go off the map. Okay. So I can talk to Jennifer. That's cool. Jennifer and I share a connection as well as love over a smart hat. I cannot stray too far from her. Okay. Click and return to Jennifer. Okay, I know, I know. Okay. Greetings, fellow spirit. What? What happened? You were involved in an accident. Do not be alarmed if your memories are of the event are hazy. However, any details you can rec recollect would be most helpful in understanding what occurred. Did you see what happened? Do you remember anything about your life? I will return. Did you see what happened? I can't focus. The image fades away. Okay. Do you remember anything about your life? I'm confused. Can you recall your name? Yes. I'm Robert... Robert... Du boy. Du boy. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> but nothing else remains. I will return. Jennifer, the victim's name is Robert Du Bois. The trauma of the event has left him confused, and he remembers nothing else. Perhaps a visual prompt will jolt, jolt his memory. Show him your sketches. We must slip past the gen, gendarme to interrogate Robert's spirit. Who could aid us so we can speak with Robert? Robert. Who can aid us so we can speak with Rabel? Um. Uh, we switch back. 
Oh. Switch back just like that. That's cool. I just started the streets close. I'm sorry about this, but we have a list of relatives. I must ask you your name before we get out of the region. Wait, no, but like we have his last name though. Right? I am so distraught. Calm yourself, Mademoiselle. <laughs> uh oh. He's resolute to must speak with that ghost. Yeah. We did. Okay, yeah. But do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Nothing. <sighs> okay, Robert the boy. Robert the boy. They name me Robert the boy. Okay. Let's check out my apartment. Sure, why not? Okay. No ghosts here. I wonder if there's any ghosts in the other house or the other places. Ah. Uh, map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, hey! <laughs> I may know the second victim. It is certainly significant. I overheard his name at the scene. I have a cousin, Robert the Boy. He may be the same person. For your family's sake, I hope this is not true. Let me check the list of relatives in the file. The boy, Robert. <laughs> In this regard, you're in luck. You're not listed as a relative. Robert the boy is a common name after all. But could I, though? Could I be? Oh! I switched to him! Ooh. <laughs> Being a ghost does have its advantages, especially for the curious. Ooh, I like that. Poor Robert. He has survived only by a sister named Gabrielle de Boy. Yet that may prove useful. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh shit. <laughs> I keep like, clicking the wrong button. Bonjour, mademoiselle. We have concluded the investigation, and there is no evidence of foul play. That can't be correct. You must keep investigating. But everything points to a simple accident. We can't justify any further time on this matter. Uh, there's just me from a witness of foul play? Not yet. Let me think a minute. Okay, wait. Hold up, we're gonna go back. To the place. Can we go back to the place? My condolences. Please return if anything else comes to light. Okay, okay. <laughs> now we can leave. Oh, I like that. I like that you can even like trans um, transition during um, the cutscenes or whatever, you know. We are still going. Okay. <laughs> um. Forget the name I said earlier. I'm definitely his sister. I'm his sister. Gabrielle de Bois. Désolé, mademoiselle. I will give you some time alone with your brother to confirm the identity of the body. 
Thank you. Now she can talk, right? Hey! Robert, I need your help. Talk to the ghost. Can you examine these sketches? Do they help you remember the accident? Yes. There was... a car. Your father spoke quietly, intensely, to the man with the foreign accent. What sort of accent are we talking? <laughs> As I walked past, your father knocked into me. He turned and tottered. I noticed nothing. I noticed he had been shoved by his companion. We were tangled and tumbled into the road. The car it could not stop. Did you see the man who pushed my father? No, it, it was so sudden. He must depart. I'm called beyond. Bon chance. He's gone. You are fortunate he granted us an audience. I knew it had to be foul play. We must convince the captain to reopen the case. Now we go back to the captain. Le Capitan. Oh, okay, the accident. Papa was pushed in front of the car. So that's uh, the guy we're just talking to. We don't know who that is. Oh. So we don't know much about the war. But perhaps this could be the same person. What a pity none can hear me but you. The world is bereft of my insights. <laughs> You've got plenty of insights down on paper. Okay, map, but the map, but the map, but the map. Gendamari, Gendamari. Uh, testimony. Is he gonna believe that we got it from a ghost, though? <laughs> okay. This is startling information. We will have to investigate further. Your father was pushed. Tell me the name of your witness so I can take a statement. I... When it was strange, the witness was the ghost of the second victim. He's dead. He ran off after speaking to me. Let's just say he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. That's unfortunate. We require a witness name and his direct testimony. Your hasty conversation with the stranger is not reliable. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. It's not unexpected, but disappointing nonetheless. But they don't possess your sensitivities, Jennifer. I have faith that you will learn more. Okay. So what now? Where do we go now? Hmm. Nothing here. How about we go back to the hotel? The captain is a fool. We could learn more on our own. He does not know your father as I do. At least, it allowed me the opportunity to examine the photograph in this case file. That image was taken at this location, with the same valise. Yes, we must take another crack at the code. 
The answers must be available if you consider the facts anew. So wait, do we need to go back? Hold on. Sat, it's locked. Does it, anything look different for him? Okay, hold on. I I didn't uh, transition to him when we were with him last time, so. Perhaps. Right, cause like it's another case file. Oh, <laughs> oh I love this art. He's just like leaning over, <laughs> peeking. It is a photograph of your father. It must be recent. He's in the hotel room, and the briefcase is open. Oh. Okay, can I see? Oh, the briefcase is open. There might be a clue here. Three, three. Okay, so... How many other number combinations for the first two numbers do we gotta try? Thirty-three. Uh, Jean, Jennifer is not the only one who misses you. Aw. Were they, you know... You know. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Hmm. I brought information? Okay. Let me think a minute. Okay. <laughs> let me, let me go. Back to the hotel. So maybe three is like a year, like 1933. Wait, what, what year does this take place? I don't know. So... 33... So we got... Uh... May... 3rd? Or... April... April 5th. No. Or maybe it's the other way around because the times are weird. Yeah, because like the <laughs> the European dates, you know? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. He must have been a lot to father. Yeah. The, the tipper guy. Even more than your own daughter? I'm just kidding. If Finn answers a wait. Oh! Jennifer! <laughs> Mama! Ma chere, what an ordeal I've had. But I see you've remained loyal to your father to the very end. I should not expect you to care for your bereaved mother's whereabouts. Your mother remains ever the performer. Mama, I do care, but I had to ensure no one interfered with Papa's property. And how, how did you know about this hotel? Your father always stayed in this flea pit, some sentimental attachment. Attachment. Guess I'm going Russian. <laughs> I died in this hotel. We do not have time to waste rifling through nonsense. We must focus on returning home and organizing an appropriate funeral to celebrate your father's achievements. This was part of his life too. This is not a sideshow. Enough, Jennifer. We have much to prepare. Do not argue. She craves respectability more than love. Damn, that was a big slam. I must wait the suitcase. I will not let her out with me. We must get it back. Wait. During her dramatic exit, an item fell out. Was it this? Was it this? 
<laughs> it's funny because it was on the is on the counter before she stormed out, but psh, it's fine. That's Tipper. This is good. Was Tipper the guy who c killed him? Perhaps. It was just like a big betrayal. Was he the guy from the war pictures? Perhaps. This is good. He always encouraged me to be an artist. He told me to never give up on my dreams. It's like I never knew him at all. It was an entire life he kept from me. Papa! Tipper. He served in the war as a doctor and saved the life of a man called Tipper. That to be the same man. A epic tale of betrayal. No, can I talk to you? No. Okay. Uh map. So now we have to catch. Secure the suitcase, yeah. Papa's funeral is soon. To leave Barry and return home would hardly be a fair swap. I need to pack and prepare for the ordeal. The funeral? Staying with Mama. Okie dokie. I need to throw some essentials into a suitcase. If only wit and fashion could pack so easily. Do you spy that apparition? Mon Dieu! I recognize that essence! It's my grandmama! Oh! This was her home, so it draws her spirit. However, to communicate with you, she will need a tether to anchor her temporarily. Papa confided in her about everything. During the war he visited when he was on leave from the front. If anyone has insight to what happened, it will be her. Search for an object she prized highly. Hmm. There's nothing I can click on. Let's talk to her. It's Jennifer. I will return, Grandmama. Grandmama, it's Jennifer. Can you help us? We don't have the items. <laughs> If you find a physical item belonging to your grandma, we may be able to draw her to this world for a short time. Okay, so he can't talk to her at all. Okay, um, I'm guessing we have to go somewhere else. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Country house. I cannot evade the awful reality, Papa's funeral. I don't know if I'm strong enough to go. Courage, sweet Jenny. I will be by your side. Thanks. Holy shit! Whoa. Hold on. Okay. I know all of Mamama's hiding places. I'll find it easily. Uh, looks like she has to burn it. 
Jean, I will protect your reputation for the sake of our daughter. Must I stop destroying his life? Me, you, we are his life. His distinguished career, his duty in the war, that's what I want remembered. You can't just destroy what doesn't fit into your perfect ideal. You can do as you wish in Paris, but this is a small town, Jennifer. Mama, what you burning? It's the papers and letters. I must say something. No, there's nothing in them you need to read. Mama, I know all about Papa. He can't have told you. He swore he wouldn't. Tell me what? About the war? He told me he loved me, and then later got his separation, but I demanded discretion. Mama, you overwrought. You should go to bed. Unlikely is she to stay awake. I'm not leaving you with this perfidy. Perfidy. Um. No. I know about Papa's best. Yes. Uh. may know most of the truth, but I won't let us know this real rest. <sighs> but Mama! I know about Papa's past. We have much more to discuss, Mama. I'll leave you to the rest. Much more, much more to discuss. You and Papa were happy for a time, I'm sure of it. Last funeral I attended was grandmother's. Yeah. <sighs> Jennifer, your insistent prattle is putting me to sleep. Good. <laughs> uh. Papa was valorous. Valorous when his country needed him. Valorous. Jennifer, you're wearing me out with your chatter. The last funeral I attended was my grandmother's. Your grandmother's ridiculous hatpin. She willed it to me as and asked for that I wear it on special occasions. But this was always so gaudy. And you've often, as you've often remarked, I have a pen chart for the peculiar. Could I borrow it? Don't be flippant, Jennifer. You get that from your father. I will do as she requested. I understand duty. I remember Papa. And this that we play jazz at the reception. Oh, yes. Always listening to that cut of all blah blah blah. You tire me out, Jennifer. <sighs> Bedtime storyteller. This is Grandma's favorite hat pin. A sentimental family heirloom could prove useful. I'm not always disdain Mimi's style, but I will treasure it. Anything else? What? Oh, I have cheese walk out. I'm gonna just go. She just woke up again. Nothing new. I'm gonna just leave. Don't worry about the hat pin. Mama. Best thing about it. Uh, Dieppe is the regular train service in Berry. Hopefully the intelligence we have gathered here will be put to good use. 
Okay. Uh, bada 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 bada. We go apartment. Okay. It was even more disastrous than I expected. But it assuages the guilt of leaving, Mama. When deeply wounded people are prone to lash out at those they love the most. It was both my experience and my offense. You can't expect me to forgive her. After death, one cannot forget or seek forgiveness. It is our torture. Before death is where such power resides. Okie dokie. It's Jennifer! Can you help us? Please, Meme. Meme? <laughs> Is that how you. I don't know. Come back. I'm so alone. <laughs> now we're going Italian. <laughs> you have, you have grabbed me be through the veil. Mime, I'm so happy to see you. I've missed you so much, Mashery. Not to intrude, but we may not have much time. Mime, this is Oscar. We have met. Meme, I'm heartbroken. Papa is... I know, Jenny. In my state, such knowledge is shared. Do you know what happened? Do you name called Tipper? <gasps> Merci, Meme. Do you know what happened to Papa? It's not that easy. <laughs> not everything is known to me. But I will illuminate what I can. Do you know a man called Tipper? Yes. Your father met Tipper or Grady during the war. They became good friends. They continued to meet after the war. Your mama never cared for Tipper, so Jean became secretive about meeting him. Hmm. Interesting. This infuriated your mama when she found out. They quarreled terribly about it. I met him at dinner in Paris on a couple of occasions. He had a beautiful Irish robe. And he was passionate about politics. I will discover what's happened. You are resolute, my detective, but sometimes you forget to take care of yourself. Enjoy your splendid life. I will, Mimi. What a treasure you have given me to speak with you again. Few of the mysteries of the beyond rivalries. Ava, Mimi. Je t'aime. No, don't go! Wait, wouldn't she have seen Oscar, like, standing behind us? Hmm. Oh, I miss her. It's so hard now Papa has passed. I must make them proud. She has supplied us with a valuable intelligence. Perhaps we can coax your mother to speak frankly on this matter. Oscar, I never took you for an optimist. Fuck, she's British now. <laughs> Death highlights the inconsequentials. Now, I observe all that is possible and wish it made manifest. Do you know, Jenny? Uh, we will solve the earth mystery together. Oh. Okay. I guess we speak to Mama, angry Mama. Mama. Mama, I really do know all about Papa's past. What do you think you know? 
Oh. So you do know. I tried to protect you. You were protecting yourself. You have no idea what I've endured. As usual, you take his side. You can read what remains. Letters from the library. He called them. God only knows what Dipper and his brothers were writing in those papers. I do not have to explain myself to you. I'm going to bed. Oh. <laughs> can you rescue any of the papers? I'll do my damnedest. What a crime! So much is lost. Only one page remains. What is the page? It's written in a foreign language. Can you read this? I can read French, uh, Latin, Greek, and rudimentary Italian. Bully for you. What about this? It's uh, Irish uh, Gilege. My mother could. Uh, oh. My mother could comprehend that, but I cannot. At least the address is in English, and it's in London. I must find out more. I'm going back to Old Blighty. My best friend from boarding school is a journalist in London. She'll put me up. Is this course of action wise? The good and the wise lead quite at lives. Euripides said. Euripides. Euripides. <laughs> I did not take you for a dull man, Mr. Wilde. Indeed, I waged war on mundanity with vigor and exquisite fashion sense. <laughs> In honor of my father, let's be extraordinary. London, an adventure beckons. Woo! So we, we gotta go out now, huh? Ooh! Elena, I have some good news and bad news. I'll be in London tomorrow. Can I stay with you? The bad news? Papa is dead. Oh, We're already like besties. Oh, we're in London now, okay. Alright, cuz, yeah, Papa sent us to boarding school or something in London, and that's this, where we met, met our uh, best friend. Hel Helen? <laughs> that's that, is that her name? Oh, wow, look at this! So, I sneaked away from Nama and traveled here to discover the truth about Papa's death. Oh, okay, so she she's British, yeah. <laughs> Poor Jenny. It must have been a lonely journey. I hate company. Surely you're not going to disclose my presence. Another harebrained chevalier mystery, just like in school. You're looking peaky, Jenny. Hang on. Are you seeing ghosts again? Again? <laughs> she knows. I could never have survived that period without a confidant. Did it happen after your father died? Yes. That must have been so upsetting. It would have been, if not for Oscar. Who? This is where the story gets intriguing. <laughs> Tell me more. Is he here now? Yes, he's sitting on my left. Are you sure this is wise, Jennifer? Uh, tell him de profundis was incredibly moving, and I, I love an ideal husband. Your friend has excellent taste, I approve of her. Thank you, Helena. 
But your acceptance of my ability has always been a source of comfort. Uh, okay, so she could always see ghosts. It wasn't just the object that could help her see the ghosts, I guess. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, I could not have survived boarding school without you. You've always been remarkably sensible about your strange gift. And your friendship to sustain me too. It means it made Latin classes more fun. I should have remembered our motto. Acta nam verba. Now you have a thrilling clear blah, 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 blah. Now you have a thrilling career in London. The Japs must be falling at your feet and droves. You're the one the boys always chased. The ones who chased me were fools, and the ones I longed for were just. As career girls tend to scare away. <gasps> milk. Milk or toast. Milk toast. What? <laughs> I don't know what that. It's better for us in the long run. Uh, as you trapeze. Trapeze? <laughs> tripes, 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 as you, as you tripes down memory lane. Oh, tripes. Okay. <laughs> as you tripes down memory lane, killers are loose on the street of London. Let us return our attention to my mystery. We can catch up on old times later. It's addressed on your letter. Let me mark it on your map. Okay. Excellent. I shall go there immediately. It's a dangerous neighborhood, Jenny. I have a care. Care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's time to end the video soon. <laughs> have a care. You're not invincible, you know. Your concern is noted. I will be cautious. You are a terrible liar. <laughs> Venture calls. Toodlepip! <laughs> oh, that's the only... <laughs> Adventure calls, Helena. Toodlepip! <laughs> it's gonna be the name of this, this episode. Toodlepip! Oh, that's it. Okay. Whitechapel! Hey, I know that place. <laughs> I remember going there in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, said Murray, what is shambles? I fear there's worse to come. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to save there. Ah, uh, that's this episode. Oh, uh, I don't know what. Why we're here. Or wait, no. Like, I know we're here for a reason, but like, uh, <laughs> why are we in this? Why are we just like, I, we're like, oh yeah, it's in shambles. Also, there's a dead body? What? Okay, well, at least I. <laughs> now I have to give everybody, uh, uh, English accents, British. See you next time, Toodles! Toodle Pip! <laughs> Toodle Pip! <laughs> the light inside me is dying! <laughs>